Hello and welcome to another episode of On The Tech. Today I'll be showing you how to get an emulator of old and um, retro consoles and get ROMs for them which are games which you are able to play such as Super Mario Brothers like I am playing now. So I'm currently using the SNES emulator but as I've already got it installed on my phone and have ROMs for it I'm going to be showing you how to do the same thing but for the Game Boy Advance um, emulator. So I'll show you how to do that right now. To download an emulator for Game Boy Advance or many other old consoles you need to go onto a web browser such as Google Chrome and then in the address bar search slideme.org slash applications question mark text equals y o n g z h so you type that in and then this website will pop up and as you can see it's got many different emulators that you can download but in, we are looking for Game Boy. most of them are free I think I know Game Boy is and SNES is so once you click that this will pop up now you can download the file the emulator then plug your computer into your phone or the other way around rather and then copy the file over onto your phone then install it onto your phone or you could do it a much quicker way now many android phones including mine it's the x10 mini pro wait sorry i just need to type in my password um, they include this app it's there it is neo reader just there and this will scan that barcode there and it will pop up with a download link so sorry let me just there we go make sure Wi-Fi is on and then in no time it will download and at the bottom that's the new file your emulator you click on that you click install and then it will install now once that's done if you go right to the end you'll see Game Boy. Now unfortunately for this type of emulator you need something called a BIOS. So I'm going to show you how to get BIOS and ROMs so you can play games on the uh, GBA emulator on your Android phone. So you want to plug your phone into your computer using a USB data transfer cable. If I can just find the port and then connect your phone or the equivalent of whatever you have to do with your phone go into start computer phone card um, then I would go to Um, just drop it in here so then what you want to do is you want to go to this website which is romsfordroid.com slash gbabios.php and there you will da then download the Game Boy Advance BIOS now once you've got it you want to drag it onto your phone card now as you can see I've got it there it is a BIN file so there we go, now we want to get ROMs. Now I haven't actually downloaded any ROMs yet so I'm not entirely sure if it will work. But the re website you want to go on to is doperoms.com and you want to search ROMs for GBA or something like that. However, I do have a McAfee site advisor and it has warned that this website is potentially harmful to your computer. So I would be careful if you have any virus protection software and it pops up saying um, this file is dodgy or something like that is harmful to your computer then 
don't download it. But I've done a what's it called? I've I've seen the report for this website, and it seems okay. You just have to be cautionate. Okay, so anyway, you want to find a GBA ROM. I'm just going to do. I'm not really sure if I want to do Pokemon. So I will do. Hmm. Let me go for Mario Advance 4. So you click on that. And then you scroll down to download ROM. I think you're going to have to scroll down again. There it is. Download. Save. And it will take 10 seconds to download. So I'm not going to skip the loading time. And then show in folder. Left. Oh. Right, right click rather, and then extract all. Actually, no, I think you want to leave it as a zip file and then simply drag it onto your phone card, pop it right next to the GBA BIOS, and then I'm just going to test if it works. So, you want to unplug your phone. So here we are back on the Game Boy. Now, as I think I said earlier in the video, to download other emulators and other ROMs, you pretty much do the same process. So it says you must have the GBA BIOS file. If you want to browse, I don't know what. Um, there it is. Click on that, and you select ROM. It says just there. Sorry, the uh, the focus on this camera is quite limited to it. Um, you choose the ROM, and here we are. Okay. Now, something you probably definitely want to do is you want to go into settings and input settings. You want to. I personally untick all of these boxes and go on to key mappings, load profile. Nope, there's nothing to load. So and then you configure all the buttons you want to use. On my QWERTY keyboard it's very simple. And then once you've done that, this is what the end result is. And hopefully it will end up something like this, but as I can use A and D to go left to right. very similar to the game I was playing on the Snezoid, SNES Droid and I'm dead. So I think I'll just leave it at that. So if you have any questions about this video then please leave them in the comments section below. If you're interested to see any other tutorials on what to do with this phone or any other pieces of technology please leave them down below in a request like obviously you requested for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe and goodbye.